Chronic diseases are related to a poor quality of life. They usually demand an expensive treatment. This treatment usually comprehends the use of many different forms of health technologies, such as diagnostic screening, surgeries, medicines, and medical devices. More than ever, new treatments are being prescribed by doctors, not only in Brazil, but worldwide. A avaliação e a incorporação de novas tecnologias é, tornam possível o acesso aos pacientes brasileiros aos tratamentos considerados mais eficazes. É, a gente sabe que o volume de conhecimento científico tem produzido tem sido cada vez maior, então é importante uma avaliação criteriosa dessas novas é, tecnologias. The Federal University of Minas Gerais, UFMG, occupies a total area of eight square kilometers and has three campuses. At the moment, it has more than 50,000 students and more than 4,000 professors and staff members. Only in the state capital, Belo Horizonte, there are 19 academic units, two teaching hospitals, and 72 programs available. Furthermore, the university holds the rights of over 369 national patents 108 international patents, and over 40 licensed technologies. It is in the College of Pharmacy that many of the advances related to health technologies are studied and evaluated. But how many years and investments does it take to develop a new drug? The release of a drug into the market is a complex process and it demands undertaking research that takes from 10 to 15 years. There are estimates that it takes up to $1.2 billion to develop a new drug. Before being available in the market, a drug must go through a rigorous process. After the development of the molecule itself, there is a series of rigorous testing that can be divided into preclinical trials when the drug is tested in vitro as well as in animals. And clinical trials can be divided among three stages. In stage one, safety and pharmacokinetic parameters are tested in a group of 20 to 80 healthy volunteers. If approved, the drug will make it to stage two when its safety and efficacy will be ensured. This stage consists of 100 to 200 unhealthy volunteers. After showing promising results, the drug goes to stage three trial. Here, 3,000 or more unhealthy volunteers are randomly sorted into groups. One group will use the drug, while the other uses a comparison, usually a placebo. At this stage, efficacy and safety are proven. A efetividade real de um medicamento é testada quando ele é lançado no mercado e em contato com a população em geral, com seus hábitos de vida variados, uso de outros medicamentos, podemos avaliar de fato os resultados e os efeitos adversos até então não identificados. Nowadays, Brazil has a population of over 200 million inhabitants. Minas Gerais State, where the Federal University is located, has more than 20 million inhabitants. The Brazilian federal constitution assures the right of health for every citizen, a challenge for a country with continental dimensions. Based upon the principles of equity, universality, and comprehensive care, the Brazilian Unified Health System, SUS, spends more than $100 billion a year. It is one of the biggest public health systems in the world and provides everything from outpatient care to organ transplants and the supply of drugs and medical devices. In Minas Gerais State, dispensing of medicines for primary care and the treatment of endemic diseases such as yellow fever and varicella is carried out by municipal unities of the Pharmacy Minas network. In this network, the pharmacy is recognized as a health facility and a reference for pharmaceutical services for all the population that belongs to the area covered by the establishment. 
SUS also provides medicines for the treatment of chronic diseases that are very expensive with a specialized component of pharmaceutical assistance. Gosher's disease, for example, has an annual cost of from $70,000 up to $550,000. A Superintendência de Assistência Farmacêutica do Estado de Minas Gerais trabalha especificamente com três componentes: componente básico, estratégico e de alto custo. Este último é regulamentado por portarias do Ministério da Saúde e é estabelecido por protocolos clínicos para doenças raras e ou complexas. Clinical protocols and therapeutic guidelines direct the treatment of these and other diseases and also provide information on the diagnosis, treatment and monitoring of patients. To obtain medicine from the SUS list, the patient makes a request through the opening of administrative process that requires the filling in of a form by the assisting physician. The user must also present documentation that attests the need for the requested drug. A maioria das pessoas que necessitam desse, desses medicamentos né, é, não tem condição mesmo de comprar. No meu caso, né, que é um medicamento que ele toma é, duas caixas por mês, cada caixa varia na faixa de 500 reais mensal. É uma ação que visa garantir a integralidade da assistência farmacêutica no Sistema Único de Saúde e a gente atende em média aqui duas mil pessoas diariamente que são beneficiadas com medicamentos para diversas patologias, como por exemplo, suficiência renal crônica, artrite reumatoide, dor crônica, entre outras. A gente tem uma gama de aproximadamente 200 medicamentos disponíveis e em volume monetário isso representa um fluxo de 30 milhões de reais mensais. In some cases, patients appeal to the courts to receive a drug that isn't provided by SUS. When that happens, a warrant is sent to the municipality, the state, or the union, ordering the payment of the requested treatment or drug. This can complicate the health budget, since it is an unpredictable expenditure. Na 11 semana de gestação, eu tive embolia pulmonar no pulmão direito e por causa disso eu tive que tomar um medicamento chamado Clexane. Por isso, eu tive que entrar na justiça para poder conseguir um medicamento, pois ele me custava dois mil reais por mês e eu não teria como arcar com um gasto tão grande durante a gestação. E quando o Poder Judiciário determina o fornecimento de determinados medicamentos ou determina a inclusão de determinados procedimentos, Muitas vezes não há dotação orçamentária para aquele determinado tipo de acesso à saúde. Que a saúde pública ela deve melhorar a gestão e deve melhorar também o financiamento. A saúde pública brasileira ainda está subfinanciada. Choosing what drugs will be made available to the population is not an easy task. Health Technology Assessment (HTA) assesses safety, effect, and the cost effectiveness of health technology. Hey Bratz, the Brazilian Health Technology Assessment Network, gathers research centers all over the country at work in this field. This network develops guidelines for HTA studies, such as health technology appraisals. SACOTS, the SUS Collaborating Center, is part of Hey Bratz and is located in the UFMG College of Pharmacy. It is a scientific and technical corporation center for health technology assessment, research, and education. The NIC itself is a strategy to support the consolidation of public health policies. The center also works in cooperation with CONITEC, the National Commission for Technology Incorporation. This commission advises the Ministry of Health to incorporate or exclude technologies from the list provided by the Unified Health System. O SECATS se origina em 2008 de uma parceria entre o SUS de Minas Gerais e a UFMG no sentido de melhorar a qualidade da, do, dos processos de é, solicitação e dispensação de medicamentos é, do componente especializado da assistência farmacêutica 
que são medicamentos de alto custo. Em 2010, essa parceria se consolida com a, a, a instalação do Centro Colaborador na UFMG, cujo objetivo principal é a produção de conhecimentos de qualidade sobre evidências científicas que possam subsidiar o processo de decisão de incorporação de, de medicamentos e tecnologias em saúde, em consonância com as, as diretrizes do Ministério da Saúde e da Conitec, e ao mesmo tempo de é, apoiar o processo de decisão é, na, no fornecimento desses medicamentos de alto custo pelo SUS em Minas. Assessing the performance of health technologies in people's lives is fundamental to equalize the conflict between demand and what is worth providing to the population. Another activity of SECATS is the evaluation of medicine requests made to the 28 unities of the Farmacia de Minas, specialized medicines component of Minas Gerais State. After receiving the patient's requests, SECATS' staff makes the protocol compliance analysis using the clinical protocols and therapeutical guidelines. The Collaborator Center receives over 8,000 administrative processes monthly. These processes will compose an important database to assess the clinical effectiveness of medicines. This data will then be linked to all the other SUS databases. This bid data linkage activity has been developed by SECATS and the Health Economy Research Group since 2004. Um dos trabalhos realizados pelo Centro, em parceria com o Departamento de Ciência da Computação, a Faculdade de Medicina, a Faculdade de Farmácia e Economia, é desenvolver a integração de grandes bases de dados utilizadas pelo sistema de saúde. Uma das bases de dados que ocorre no país com maior frequência, no dia a dia das pessoas, são as internações hospitalares. Também temos as bases de dados dos serviços ambulatoriais, como os das diálises, por exemplo, ou dos medicamentos de alto custo usados nas farmácias do SUS. Uma terceira base de dados que registra todos os dados do paciente é a base de dados de mortalidade. Ao juntarmos, por meio de técnicas probabilísticas e computacionais, esses dados desses pacientes, nós conseguimos construir a trajetória desses pacientes dentro do sistema e, a partir daí, entender quais foram os desfechos, ou os resultados que esse investimento ou que esses procedimentos que esses pacientes sofreram é, é, resultaram. E, com isso, determinar se as tecnologias foram ou não eficazes, nesse caso, efetivas, para a vida das pessoas. From what the database and the health technologies assessments point out, SACATS can offer judges support on the decision to issue or not issue a judicial order. A drug being available through SUS is not the final stage. A correct prescription must be written by clinicians. Inspired by the projects undertaken by the National Prescribing Service in Australia and by Harvard in the United States, SACOTS has developed a project for academic detailing in which clinicians are visited for both the dissemination of the health technologies assessment results and the clinical protocols and therapeutical guidelines, both indispensable information for the quality use of medicines. All these activities are a part of the concepts of evidence-based medicine and quality use of medicines. SACOTS works on the development of studies and assists in the decision-making process of managers, clinicians, and patients, decisively contributing to the improvement of people's quality of life.